Hi, and welcome to this very short video, which is in addition to the video I made yesterday, I pushed it yesterday, <coughs> on this screen printing machine, uh, which I'm pretty happy with on the whole, um, but there was one aspect of the design of this machine that I, I wasn't very pleased with, um, and that is the fact that we have, have magnets here and magnets here, um, and the, the idea was that you could hinge this up, um, and then it, the magnet would hold it in the up position. And it does kind of work, but it's really fiddly to get these magnets on the frame, and these magnets to line up, and if they don't line up exactly and, and join uh, exactly parallel to each other, then they don't actually hold. So what I was thinking of doing today was to, a small modification to this uh, machine, um, and I thought I'd add like a U-shaped piece of material here that could slide backward and forward. So the idea being that you could slide it out and you could put the frame up and then you could slide it in and then the U-shaped material would hold this up. Um, so I could make this out of metal, I could make this out of wood. Um, I think maybe I'll make it out of wood first and see how that works, because that's easier to do. Um, if it works well enough, but I feel like it needs more strength or something, then perhaps I'll remake it in metal later. But uh, I'm going to try out the concept at least, like a proof of concept, uh, by using some, some plywood, some very thin plywood here, some thin plywood here, and a little block of thicker plywood at the edge, and a couple of screws and a slot so that it can slide back and forward. I think I'll try that first in wood um, and see if that solves the problem. So this is my pile of scrap wood. Um, I think I should be able to find something in here just to make a small U-shaped piece of wood. Um, maybe there's some thin ply here. This might be pretty useful. Um, and um, I think that's three quarter inch plywood there. I think that might work for the other piece. Yep, I think, I'll, I think that'll do me. I'm think, thinking is that if I put this here, attach it with a couple of screws so that this can slide backwards and forwards. I could slide it out, um, I can hinge the frame up, I can slide it back in and then it will hold the frame like that. So I found these quarter inch uh, by one and a half inch bolts which I think will work perfectly for this job. Uh, I want to cut a slot kind of like this so that the bolt will, will slide back and forwards, so allow this to slide back and forwards. Um, and so I'm, I'm going to cut the hole using this drill bit uh, in my drill press just by making a series of holes. This is a 7 16 so it's like 1 16 wider than a quarter inch bolt, so that should give it enough room uh, to, to slide. So I think this design pretty much solves my problem. Um, I can lift my silk tree up, push that over, hold the silk tree, print my t-shirt, pull this back, drop it down. It's, it's, it works pretty smoothly. It uh, works with any size of frame. This is quite easy to move in and out. Um, yeah, I, I think I don't need to make a metal version of this. I'm pretty happy with this as, as a solution. 
So if you saw the video on making this sunscreen printing machine um, and you saw that you know we weren't very happy with the idea of having magnets here uh, and you want to make a small adjustment, building one of these is actually pretty easy, just a few bits of uh, plywood of different thicknesses um, and it seems, seems to work pretty well. So I'm, I'm happy with it, I'm going to go with it. Thanks for watching the video.